and gentlemen, welcome to the Jobber Break Room. Happy Monday. It's weird to think next Monday is Christmas Day. Meaning next Tuesday is the Jobber Rewind. And, and what footage have I recorded for it? Yeah, let's not talk about it. <laughs> but today we are here to review Loki Season 2. Now, when I did Season 1, I reviewed each individual episode which only had, I don't know, six? Six lovely episodes of Loki, season one, and I think we got the same with season two. I'm gonna come out and say it, okay? <clears throat> Loki is definitely 100% a god of time now. The way the season finale ended with Loki and this Idris tree or whatever, which apparently is going to show up in What If Season 2, which starts on Wednesday, by the way. Loki is now this all-powerful, time-controlling person. In this season, we've seen him time-slipping, which is a, u a unique concept, because it means that he can go to the past, he can go to the future, he can go back just a few seconds. It means he can go back to the past, the future, or he can go back to the, just a few seconds. See what I did there? I, I almost had you, I almost had you. <laughs> no, um, but Tom Hiddleston, I hope this isn't the end of Tom Hiddleston in the MCU, he's kind of hinted that it might be, and I'm like, no, we need Loki, we need that Loki and Thor reunion, we need it. I can't handle seeing all the fake thumbnails and shit for, oh, Thor's meeting Loki, Thor's going to the TVA, no he's not. Thor, right now, is raising love, which is Gore the God Butcher's son, or daughter, sorry. So, we know that 4 5 is in development, but we need that reunion. That's a reunion we need. They, they can't fuck it up. One thing they didn't fuck up, though, we got to see Morbius on a jet ski. Let's go. We got to see Morbius before he joined the TVA in this series. We got to see that he had two sons and he was living a happy life, but he still seems to be in the Time Variant Authorities. And he's obviously missing Loki. I'm gonna brush through two of the other characters, we, we, this is Marvel, go away Batman, <laughs> we, we got to see Hunter B-15's past, she used to be a nurse in New York, do you want to know what year, 2012, the same year that the Avengers formed in New York and Loki was causing havoc. Coincidence? I think not. <clears throat> so we got to see her backstory. Not much is really shown with her. Same with Casey, who we, we briefly met in the first season. And here, his backstory was kind of breaking out of a prison and then getting on this boat with these two other guys, which apparently is based on a real life thing. And then probably the OG character, Ouroboros, 
played by Ki Yu Kwan, I think that's his name. A uh, little short round from Indiana Jones. Yeah, he's like, he's down in the mail room for like the first two or three episodes, but then he does come out and we get to see him round the TVA. He wrote the handbook that Loki and everyone has in season one and in this season. But his past, he was a book writer and it was Loki that came to him by time slipping and told him about the TVA and everything. Loki recruited everyone, brought them to OB, that's his nickname, or it's, it's Ouroboros, but they call him OB. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed about Sylvie in this series. We don't see much of her. She's working in a McDonald's at one point because that's where she goes after killing he who remains she goes and works in a mcdonald's and when loki shows up she wants nothing to do with him she wants nothing to do with he who remains all that jazz of tva nothing but by the end when loki sacrifices himself she's like oh he does care oh okay i'll stick around or i think she goes back to mcdonald's i don't, I don't know i don't know if she goes back there but I'm disappointed that she wasn't used as much as she was in season one, where she was like one of the main focuses. And speaking of main focuses, He Who Remains is seen briefly in a flashback, I think in episode five or three or something, where he's shown working alongside Renslayer and Miss Minutes. But we don't see much of him. We only see Victor Timely, who was in the post credit scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quadomania, if you remember that movie. Yeah, me neither. And we find out that when Victor Timely was younger, Renslayer dropped in the TVA handbook. And this led Victor, once He Who Remains was dead... They wanted to reset everything and have Victor take over He Who Remains position. So he hosts the thing that he does. And that's the post credit scene that we've seen in that man and the Wasp. Victor does end up coming to the TVA, but he doesn't quite take over as much as we thought. He does end up writing the TVA handbook volume 2 with OB. But other than that, he doesn't do much. It doesn't set up anything Kang related. Renslayer ends up in the void because she gets pruned by Sylvie. Miss Minutes has a weird crush on Victor Timely and she becomes really creepy. But then she gets reset in one of the episodes and by the end of the series, she's now back to her original sentence or whatever. And that's basically everything. When it comes to Loki Season 2, I gotta be 100% honest. Prefer Season 1. I know. It, it was a weird... See, I mean, well, it was weird, but it was good. I'm not saying it was bad. The whole Loki god of time now, he controls time. I'm, I'm intrigued to see where that will go, if it will play into the stuff that's coming up. Uh, obviously, as I say, we have What If Season 2 starting on Wednesday, the 22nd, I think. No, Friday? No, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, 22nd. Yeah, because it's, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> it's the 22nd. Which is Friday, because then they, they have released all the episodes. There's nine episodes in total, and they're dropping them over nine days. So it's on the 22nd to, I think, the 30th of December. <laughs> the 31st? No, you don't exist. But I'll be reviewing that at some point in 2024. But ladies and gentlemen, yeah, that's uh, actually going to do us for... My Loki Season 2 
review. Uh, yeah, not much, not much more I can say really. Uh, if I miss something, I apologize. Uh, I've got my videos planned out this week. Friday, <clears throat> this Friday coming. Cora Jade video. Yep, uh, my podcast for Cora Jade. Even though she came back, she pinned the NXT Women's Champion last week. Did she get a title match? Does she get a title match this week? No. No, she doesn't. No, she does not. So, although I'm doing that podcast on Friday, there's no video next Monday. But next Tuesday at 2 o'clock is my Jobber Rewind. That's coming next Tuesday. And then... That's, that, that's the only video next week. I have gaming video tomorrow. Do I? Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. And then reaction video on Wednesday. Gaming video on Thursday. I'm seeing Die Hard on Wednesday as well. Podcast on Friday. Gaming video on Saturday. And then Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom on Sunday. And I believe that's it. And then the Jobber Rewind on Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Pretty solid. If I do say so myself. Yeah. It's, it's great, ladies and gentlemen. Th this year has been... Touch and go, it has been, but... Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Let me know what your opinion on Loki Season 2 was. Because even though it ended... It ended in October, I think. But let me check something. I think it ended in... It ended in October, I think. It didn't... It didn't go... Where did I put that document? I had something written down there, but now I can't find it. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And the next time you see me in person, I might look a bit different. I'll see you next week. Come with me and you'll be... In a world of pure imagination